And again, ACC, ACC rematch with NC State on the next game. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, they're a great team uh, on a great run right now. Uh, we have to come out swinging. We have to come out with our defense, play our defense. We weren't us last time. Uh, we should get the job done. Appreciate you. Yeah. So you get too small. Yeah, I think I did. I think he did that to me, or someone did that to me. Um, so yeah, for for him, for him to for me to get it back at him, it was it was a good feeling. <laughs> what was it like playing against those guards tonight? Oh man, they're they're super elite. Great guards, um, strong. Uh, they just they make tough shots. That's a, that's a skill. Um, so just my teammates, they were playing great defense. Um, and yeah, it was a great win. Jeremy and Kyle. Like they, they took it upon themselves in the second half. What does it mean for you when you see those guys get it going? Man, it's, it's everything, man. I feel like when they work so hard, um, they're such good players. Uh, for them to thrive in these big moments, German's been here before, Flip has been here before. Uh, it's just amazing to watch them, watch them win, watch them succeed. The narrative surrounding this team, deservedly or maybe not deservedly slow, was bad. Um, I mean, shoot. Just please continue to say whatever you got to say. Continue to don't don't switch up, please. Please don't switch up. Uh, whatever you guys were saying before the game, please don't switch up. Uh, yeah, we're we're just gonna continue to prove them wrong. And uh, if we play defense like that, then uh, we'll be fine. I mean, like, I mean, they're an experienced team. They're an older team. Um, it's gonna happen. Uh, we we wanted to throw the first punch. It didn't happen, but we all stayed poised. Uh, we all stayed patient. And Coach Hire talked when he called the timeout, just talking to us, just to stay calm. We're gonna be fine. And uh, yeah, I, I knew we were gonna come back. We just have confidence in my team. What feeling was it when you knew that you guys had this game in the bag? There's no feeling like it. Uh, to play for a chance to be in the Final Four, it's it's almost like it's such a far goal that now it's so close. It's it's an amazing feeling. Um, so we got to lock in and take one game at a time. I remember before you came to Duke, you talked about your, your dream board. <laughs> Where are you on that now? <laughs> well, I mean, shoot, I wanted uh, Final Fours on it, National okay. Championships on it. Okay. Um, yeah, I reached, I reached for the stars on those. So just to be in this position to get there, mm -hmm. uh, to check those those goals off is, is crazy. It's crazy. I made it I, think I made it right before season, the preseason. Mm -hmm. And uh, to be this close to those goals is insane. Do you still have it with you? Or yeah, or it's, it's up in my dorm, hanging up on my wall. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, second game of a two-game tournament last week, you hit, what, eight three-pointers. <laughs> what, what, what allows you to kind of carry that, that physicality, that endurance through into a quick tournament? Yeah, just do anything to win, man. I'll do anything to win, uh, whether it's not making shots and playing defense or whether it's rebounding. Um, I'll do anything to win, so I know I'm going to trust my work and uh, it'll all come back to me, uh, but anything to win. After games at home, you, got, you will get put back on the court and shoot three. You gonna do that again tonight? Where are you gonna be? Able to I, we, we can't really do it tonight, but uh, one thing I talk with my psychologist about is visualization. So um, it's funny the visualizing the, a rep is the same. The same muscles are working when you visualize it. Uh, so I do like visualization workouts basically. Uh, so that's what I'll be doing tonight.